Hey there, fools. Big T back at it again with another video. <laughs> this video will kind of be like me explaining to those who didn't understand my analogy in my last video about uh, third parties on the Switch. And uh, also just kind of talking about investing again. Why I think and uh, most companies understand and believe investing is a good idea. So let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, like I said, in my last video, I gave this analogy. And just to quickly break it down, because um, some people didn't seem to understand it. And I thought it was um, pretty well put together. Honestly, I actually wasn't sure about it because um, uh, I almost didn't like put the video up because I wasn't sure if my I got my point across. Um, but I just said, screw it, I threw the video up. And a lot of people really got it, you know, and uh, uh, to my surprise, because, you know, you know, as an artist or whatever, you never really know. If you're basically getting your point across and you just kind of throw uh, ideas out there and sometimes you edit yourself too much and you maybe throw away something that could have been good. It's just the nature of, um, you know, a person who thinks, you know, artistically and, you know, wants to convey a message or whatever. But um, I was surprised yet and I was happy to see that a lot of people got it a lot. You know, they really understood it. Um, but, you know, there was the few, some I feel like didn't understand it or didn't want to understand it. <laughs> so that's why they didn't. Uh, basically, to break it down into the most simple terms as I possibly can is um, it's not the smartest thing to uh, let basically your, your, uh, your customer base, your install base be built up on one type of video game and then decide... Okay, now we should dip in and uh, put our stuff out there, even though the the current, you know, uh, install base is built up on fans who may not appreciate your style of games. And while, um, you know, more people equals uh, more sales, uh, it's smarter to invest in your consumer base, your customer base to not just, you know, peel off and get a few extra sales. Um, but also drive the install base based on your game, so you'll get more than a few extra sales. You'll you'll be planting seeds to have consistent purchases on your types of games, like the other consoles have. And that's one reason Xbox and Sony consoles do really well with uh, with the uh, third-party modes and classes because they've always had them. So, so those customers have always been there. Where with Nintendo, it's kind of been uh, disjointed. You have an era here where it's pretty good and it's kind of not good there. And and so that's why those games aren't going to sell well uh, because you haven't, you don't have the consistent audience on this platform. I think it's, it's a pretty simple concept uh, to understand. And uh, so just to, as a company, if your policy is just to sit back and wait for the manufacturer to build up the install base based on the types of games they make and and you're the type of manufacturer that often cries about how you can't compete with nintendo games well you're not really helping yourself competing with nintendo games on nintendo platforms when you sit back and allow nintendo uh to dictate the audience completely and then you decide to jump in you're not really helping your case there um and like i said of course with the increased install base you have um, you know, just mathematically with numbers, you'll get more sales. Uh, but it's a better business plan to uh, to invest in the types of gamers uh, who play your types of games and uh, not play the short game and just, you know, let's see how much money we can make off this one game and play the long game and say, let's drive the install basis. Let's bring players uh, over uh, who, who like our kinds of games, first of all, and, or let's bring, or let's let's take these Nintendo gamers, and you know consistently show them we're going to support this platform, and maybe those guys will, um, likely not just maybe likely those guys will come over and start playing our types of games as well. So that's what well, that's why investing is important, and while um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Makes a good bumper sticker. It's not a good business plan, <laughs> you know. the The install base of a Nintendo console, if it's built up on Nintendo style games and indie type games, and uh, that's it, 
uh, you're not going to reach the potential that you can reach. Um, you, if you invest and grow your audience, um, going forward, you'll reap the benefits of it instead of just waiting to peel off a few numbers here and there. That's just not, that's lazy business. That's just, um, uh, shout out to Terminator Juice. He had a great, um, analogy on his, uh, l latest juice opinions where he was talking about his, uh, his company and them doing stupid things, things that, you know, is good for their bottom line initially, but in the long run hurts their business. Uh, you know, cutting corners and, you know, hiring people who aren't, uh, who aren't invested, who aren't longtime consumer or longtime employees uh, who just, you know, they'll you know, do the job for a couple months and quit. They don't really care about the company, um, you know, and obviously the, their labor is cheaper, but in the long run, you screw it up because. Uh, they're not invested, like I said, and they screw up orders and all kinds of things. And so in the long run, you're actually hurting yourself um, while you might be making short term uh, financial gains as a company. So investing is important um, in any business. Um, I started a business myself in 2009 uh, while I was still in college and I had to invest in my uh, cons uh, customer base. I, you know, there were people already out there that were uh, doing editing and um, motion graphics and doing videos and um, in, in my area. And I had to undercut those people. I had to take a loss. I had to work for free. I had to uh, ingratiate myself with those customers who were used to these other people. And I had to come in and say, look, I can uh, do just as good or better work than these guys. Um, I'm going to invest in you and hopefully you invest in me. You invest in your customer and your customers will invest in you uh, for the long run. And like I said, like if I just came in and sat around and uh, hope for people to jump onto what I'm doing instead of investing in them and showing them I'm going to be here and I'm this is the type of work I do, then I wouldn't be, you know, <laughs> still in business. Um what is it, seven years now? Um, and I invested in the area. I actually get, um, I used to live in Florida. That's why I graduated college. And most of my work that I get today, it still comes out of Florida. About 70% of uh, my, my client work still comes from Florida because I invested in that area and that area continues to invest in me. And that's the, you can apply that to any business. You can definitely apply that to uh, video games and the install base uh, situation. So, and the funny thing is that at the end of the day, I don't really, I'm not like, oh my God, I gotta have every third party. And that was never my argument. Um, as a Nintendo fan, a long time Nintendo fan, I had basically uh, conceded to the fact that uh, as a Nintendo console owner, I wasn't gonna get all the third parties and all that stuff. and. And I, you know, I was I was fine with that. I, I I got to a point where I'm just I'm kind of over it. I don't I don't really care. I mean, I've always bought Nintendo consoles for Nintendo games anyway. This is just a sake for the sake of argument type of thing. This isn't oh I need all these third parties or I'm not arguing for all these third parties. I'm stating a case against the logic of the situation. That's all I'm doing here. Um, if you look at a video I did a while back. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'll put a link to it, I guess, up on the screen or at the end of the video. I talk about what do you think the third party situation will be on the Switch? Will you think it'd be closer to uh, GameCube or do you think it'd be closer to Wii? And um, I kind of posed the question. I came to the conclusion, if you watch the video, that it would be closer to Wii. And that's pretty much kind of where we're headed with the Switch right now. And if I came to that conclusion and I was fine with it, <laughs> then you shouldn't realize that I'm not the guy who goes crazy or needs third party. Uh, as a as a gamer, as a consumer, um, I'm very happy with my Switch. Um, but I'm I was speaking uh, just like OJ is apparently. I was speaking for the benefit of the company. Like. Um, what benefits me as a gamer may not benefit Nintendo as a company or what hurts me as a gamer may not hurt Nintendo as a company. So 
um, speaking as what I think Nintendo should do for the longevity and the fruitfulness of the Switch is and make sure you have these third party games and for the longevity because uh, at the end of the day, you won't be able to keep up, especially with gamers today who are uh, very fickle and they move on from games pretty quickly and they, as soon as the game comes out, they've forgotten about it. <laughs> so for uh, to serve that type of audience, you got to have an abundance of video games and you can't do that all by yourself uh, these days. There was a time where you could serve an audience uh, by yourself mostly, uh, but in today's uh, gaming uh, society, if you will, you can't do that. So, uh, 2017 may look great, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it for 2017. Great, but 2018, you may need, you will need uh, some more support. You more, you will need some more help if you want to keep that momentum going. Um, you have to, uh, like I said, you have to invest in the consumer base, and you got to help it grow. Sitting around and uh, you know, whatever, like you said, if it ain't, like he said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That kind of mentality is going to put you behind. It's going to make sure you're not able to innovate, um, and keep you behind. It's easy to say that for, uh, Sony like uh, systems and Xbox systems, because, you know, they're not being broke means they still all have, they still have all the third party support. So them not fixing their situation isn't as uh you know and they don't you know they don't invest as much in the first party uh games anymore so it doesn't hurt them <laughs> to not fix anything but nintendo's uh longevity it will hurt them to not fix or change anything um you have to invest in the times you have to invest in your consumers so your consumers will continue to invest in you it's pretty simple um like i said i am I wouldn't be in business if I just sat around and just, oh, well, I'm making really good profits now. I'm making good money now. I'm not going to do anything. Just keep going along like like I am now. Ask Blockbuster how that worked out. <laughs> you know, ask a lot of these companies that are uh, dying right now. How sitting around and, oh, I'm making money now. Or we're selling well now. Ask them how that worked out in the long run. Um, you know, that's, pre that's pretty simple economics, pretty sound business uh, uh, to continue to mo uh, innovate and change and move along with the you know customer base one of the things that hurt Nintendo is that they didn't jump on to the uh, online stuff right away they they oh, we'll wait and see uh, we've been doing this for this long so uh, you know let's just keep it like it is it's been working out for us so long well it, it hurt them um, obviously and we're still in a situation where they haven't quite gotten it right yet and uh so for the consumer to just sit around knowing the history of the situation to sit around and be like oh we'll wait we'll wait for this we'll wait for that isn't smart like for me like i said i don't really care to have all this stuff at the end of the day but as a person, as a consumer, uh, as a gamer and a, a person who wants Nintendo to uh, be successful and continue to be successful, I want them to do the things that helps them be successful. Because if they're successful, uh, I'm happy as a gamer because I'm getting the IPs that I want. You know, I don't have to go a generation without a Metroid because the system didn't sell well. Um, I don't have to go a generation without uh, my favorite IPs. So, I mean, that I feel like that's pretty simple. It's not that deep. Um, I think I explained the case pretty well. So if you don't think so, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you agree, disagree, let me know. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm super happy with the Switch. Um, I would be just fine if it continued to sell well with just what they're doing right now. And um, I don't have any complaints either, either way. But I think for... If I'm thinking not as a gamer, uh, a Nintendo gamer who loves Nintendo games, if I'm thinking as a person uh, who wants them to continue to be successful, um, I would advise them to, you know, innovate, mix in third party games more, uh, you know, be a little bit more strategic in that aspect. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, I actually had a video uh, that I recorded maybe a month and a half ago that I just never put out. That's something that I do a lot. 
and uh actually uh nia the video game her actually put up a video about um nintendo fans and uh buying third party games or whatever and that kind of made me wait a little bit more because i didn't want her to think that it was a response i haven't watched her video yet so i don't know where um uh what side she's falling on with that but I didn't want it to sound, seem like I was making a response to her. I uh, made the video a long time ago, so I was just gonna wait a little bit more. So that's kind of gonna be my last video about this situation, uh, the third parties or whatever. Um, even though it really has nothing to do with it. Um, when I when I recorded it, it had nothing to do with any of this stuff because argument, if you will, in the community hadn't happened yet. So um, I'm gonna put that out eh, sometime, maybe next week or whatever. Um, like I said, it's not a response to Nia. I, I, I did it over a month ago and, uh, just going to put that out there. So yeah, I mean, that's, like I said, this is my last video on this subject. I don't need the last word. <laughs> I think I stated my case pretty well here. So like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and listening as always. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh yeah. One more thing. Play Nintendo fools. Do, 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 do.